Warning. Small amounts of ozone are generated in this reaction. They should be performed outside or in a fume hood. Greetings, fellow nerds. In this video, we're going to make high purity manganese dioxide. Now, manganese dioxide is already widely available in battery sludge and pottery glazes. Although these sources are notoriously impure, this often isn't an issue for most reactions an amateur would try. Nonetheless, we'll be making a high purity manganese dioxide to explore the science. First, take about 10 grams of manganese sulfate. This can be bought as a specialized fertilizer or made from crude manganese dioxide as shown in a previous video. Add in 30 milliliters of water and shake until dissolved. Now in separate containers, get 25 grams of potassium peroxymonosulfate, which is sold as a water treatment chemical for swimming pools. Get 100 milliliters of water and add the potassium peroxymonosulfate to it. It'll bubble a lot as oxygen is released. Shake to dissolve as much of the potassium peroxymonosulfate as you can, but don't take more than a few minutes or it'll decompose too much. Now add the manganese sulfate to the solution. The manganese dioxide will quickly precipitate out. What's happening is the potassium peroxymonosulfate oxidizes the manganese sulfate into manganese dioxide and sulfuric acid. Leave the mixture to stand until the bubbling stops. This should take about an hour. Now filter the mixture and wash the original container as well as the manganese dioxide with water to get maximum transfer and to clean the product from any remaining sulfates. Let the filter dry for about a day. Here we are the next day. The manganese dioxide is much drier and can be easily removed from the filter. Place it into a beaker and let it dry before crushing into a powder. I recommend using an oven set to about 130 Celsius. Here we are after drying. Purified lab grade manganese dioxide. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment.